Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I converted a transom mount trolling motor into a bow mount trolling motor for use on my boat. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. After a lot of research, I chose the Minn Kota Traxxas 55 pound thrust 42 inch shaft variable speed trolling motor. Now there were a few reasons for this. The variable speed is a digital speed controller which means it'll save on battery life and power. The handle is also telescoping and it will adjust up and down because it's going to be mounted on the standing deck of my boat which is why I wanted the longer shaft. I won't go into all the characteristics of this trolling motor but the ones that were important to me. And also this unique mount right here which will allow it to be used on my bow and pulled out of the water out of the way when I want to move from spot to spot. And so you just press this hatch right here and you see that this will rotate all the way up flat so it will lay on the deck of my boat when I move from spot to spot. And then of course it's got your standard clamping system here that you can take it on and off very easily. So the next thing to do is show you the modification I'm going to make to it. This is the only modification you're going to need to make to this trolling motor so you can use it on the standing cast deck of your boat or on the bow of your kayak. Going around to the rear of the head unit on the neck you're going to see these two hex head screws and there's also a Phillips head screw which is actually a bolt. So what you're going to do is unloosen the two hex head set screws and then unloosen the bolt which goes through the center of the shaft and you see the nut on the end here and you pull that bolt through and then you're able to rotate the head 180 degrees and you re-put the bolt through the shaft and tighten the set screws again and you're ready to go. So when it's all done this is what it should look like. You see you have the handle and the prop on the same side of the trolling motor shaft which means you'll be able to use it while you're standing on your cast deck or the bow of your boat or kayak. This is my customized bow mount for this project. This is made out of painted aluminum and as you can see from the top of the gunnel here to the standing or casting deck down there that there's a difference in height. And basically that was roughly two inches, so what I did was I built up a base here using PVC board, which is rated for outdoor use, as well as some poly cutting board under here, which also works well in outdoor environments. And over here, where the main part of this mount presses down on the top of the gunnel with the weight of the trolling motor, I added some marine outdoor weather stripping here that has stick them on the back, and I attached it to the bottom of this plate so it wouldn't rub against the finish of the fiberglass and scratch it up. And it also fills up any little voids or gaps that might be in there. Then I also added this hook in here with some stainless steel tether which I would use to wrap around the trolling motor just to make sure if it ever was to fall off that I'm not going to lose it in the water. And then what I also used because there wasn't very good access underneath here to use bolts and fender washers under this casting deck I went ahead and used this type of toggle bolts here. And they worked out really well. I won't go into the full use, but I'll also list them in the parts. And what I did was, instead of using this screw that was provided in the pack, I substituted that with these three and a half inch in length, quarter by 20 stainless steel bolts. And as you can see, that's what I have in several places around here. And it's very important that you dry fit everything first for your mount because some of these parts that I checked to see if I could get access to, I was unable to. Like in here, there's a barrier on the side, so I couldn't 
drill any bolts through the top of the gunnel here because I wouldn't be able to reach them. But once I figured out where I could, I inserted my bolts, and this is rock solid right now. This is what the stowed position of the trolling motor looks like. And you can see everything clears and there's enough room on the deck for you to move from spot to spot. And then just by depressing the lever there, you'll be able to put it back down into using position. This is the deployed position of the trolling motor. Of course, I'll adjust the height once I get into the water, but you can see I'll be able to control this trolling motor while standing on the casting deck, and that was the whole purpose of this project. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.